today we're making dream catchers and what you're going to need um, is a, a few sticks so you can do two you can do three they can be circular or you can make them in a triangle shape like this um, if you want you can gather some beads to put in the middle and uh, some yarn to put along the sides you can even paint your sticks before you do the yarn um, it's just up to you so what you're going to do is you're going to start by overlapping the sides. You're going to start by going around the two sticks after you tie a knot around them. So what you're going to do is you're going to gather up your yarn and slowly go around the two. Like that. It takes a little bit and sometimes it's a little difficult when you're first doing it because you have to go like around the sticks. but. You're just slowly fastening the two sticks together so that you can create like a full ring. And then once you're finished, you're just going to tie a knot um, around the two again and then start on the other side. Now I've tied um, the two sticks together using string and I've put all of my beads onto a separate piece of string which I'm now going to weave in like a web-like fashion um, because you want to like catch the dream so you like have to kind of make it like kind of like a mini obstacle course but out of string. And so now I'm going to um, position the beads as I want them to be and I'm going to begin um, right here and go across and just randomly put my string across my dream catcher while also moving the beads where I want them. Now that I've strung um, the beads along and the string um, the way that I want it. I'm going to tie the finishing two pieces together and then my dream catcher is finished. 